please come forward, whoever it is, please. Now at 11, it's a plea we are hearing in record numbers. Families pleading for help after deadly hit and run crashes. It's going to have a lot of front end damage. If you happen to see it, give us a call. Police hunting for drivers, lifelong injuries, and too many times they end in death. Florida has experienced an alarming increase in the number of fatal hit and run crashes during the past two years. And Miami-Dade County is leading that surge of these deadly accidents. In fact, we saw one last night. So why the increase and what's being done to make sure hit and run drivers are brought to justice? CBS 4's Vanessa Borge has our special report. Uh, he had just gotten his hair cut, so this is a before and this is an after. Maria Cruz McGarry's life was crippled when her cousin, Rudy Aponte, was struck by a car and left to die on the side of the road. This is surveillance video from that night in April. Rudy had cerebral palsy, which is why you see him limping in the video. Rudy is one of thousands. In the state, Florida Highway Patrol estimates 80,000 hit and run accidents occurred in 2014. There were 9,749 in Broward County. In Miami-Dade County, it's much worse. In 2014, we had almost 17,480 hit and runs. Of those 80,000? Of those 80,000. But those accidents range from someone backing up into a car and taking off all the way to fatalities. <laughs> Those are the cases the Miami-Dade Police Department is most concerned about. They have a traffic homicide unit committed solely to finding the suspects in hit-and-run accidents that result in deaths or serious injuries. Rudy's is one of the unit's open cases. Sergeant David Greenwell is one of the officers on the hunt for Rudy's killer and dozens of other open cases. We have a, a high closure rate for these fatalities. What's a high closure rate? About 50%. That may sound like a low number, but with only pieces of a puzzle to find suspects, it's hard to solve these cases. They will remain open until we close them. How many do you have open right now? Here's my answer. Ready? Too many. One of the most infamous hit and run crashes in South Florida occurred right here on the Rickenbacker Causeway. In 2012, bicyclist Aaron Cohen was riding on the causeway when he was struck and killed. The driver served less than a year in jail. The Aaron Cohen Act changed that. Now drivers that hit someone and leave the scene can expect a minimum of four years in jail. You're only making it worse by leaving the scene because some of the, some of the, in some of these cases, the drivers aren't even at fault. So why are they leaving? They may have a suspended driver's license. They may have a bench warrant. They may be under the influence of alcohol or drugs while driving. Um, or they're just plain scared. Sergeant Greenwell investigated a hit and run that began as just a minor accident. But when the driver left the scene, he turned what could have been a traffic citation into a felony. While he was fleeing and driving recklessly, he lost control of his car, crossed the sidewalk, hit and killed a pedestrian. And so now he's going to face jail time. And what would he have faced had he just stayed at that minor accident? A ticket. Yep, a ticket. So the message from police, stay on the scene. Maybe educate people to have a conscience. Maria is hoping that one of Sergeant Greenwell's closed cases is Rudy's, so they can finally feel closure. Our society has, has gone to the point where people just don't value life. You know, Rudy had a life. Vanessa Borge, CBS 4 News Tonight.